realizes that matchup may not be worth playing out. Or if the Aegis does super bad, he may have to bring it out just because it's a character he's super comfortable with, but all right. SoCal Classic PS2. All right, immediately using the strength of Aegis for speed. Of Mithra, at least. Mithra would be a little slow, but Abe showing that he's still super good at this, and he can keep you on ledge just as long as he wants. Even if you get off of ledge, you're gonna have to try and land versus this character, and Abe has perfected it. 70% just from one grab and one ledge interaction, and the percent is still climbing. You just cannot figure out a way to get off of ledge. And back off stage he goes. I was gonna say, there's a forwarder and a bomb. I think Abe may do a, maybe want to do a back air there, but you know, cleaning it up with drag down there into four tilt, but immediately doing a wrong option. He might be dead for that. And catching the uppy, he was able to get that down smash. I think he actually would have died. This is looking really bad right now. He's going to have to figure out something. Maybe switch to, to Pithra, or he's going to have to play a lot more precise neutral, because right now he's not using her speed to her fullest. Good S-Smash. Trying to get an early kill right now with Pithra. But Abe just finding his way out of the corner immediately. He's gonna have to figure out something and super fast because this percent is climbing. Almost getting overlapped. Trying to land that two frame downer, but Abe knowing how to rearrange his recovery extremely quickly, with whether it be a bucket stall or even just waiting a little bit longer than you'd expect. This recovery can be a lot more variable than you think. Abe in the corner, but finding his way out. It's actually super smart. If you're able to face away with Game & Watch and Shield, he has a lot more options than if he was just facing forward. His forward air not being super fast or having a lot of range, but his back air having both. All right. Sun finally finding the first stock and starting to stock off really strong, a quick 22%, but overextending ever so slightly and getting put away. But Sun not letting that himself get deterred. Immediately quick uppy. This is looking a lot more doable. And if he's able to put himself in a bad position, he'll lose his stock early. It's looking, that was so close to landing. And I think that Game & Watch is light enough to where that actually would have killed. But, no. Pyra having such bad disadvantage, you might just want to switch if you ever get put above him. And I think that's what Abe was waiting for. I think he was waiting for the switch to try and cover that. And reading the air dodge. Nice get up attack, figuring a way out. Not able to get the punish. And reading the air dodge. Fastball back here. All right, it's looking a little bad at this point. It seems like Sun is more just swinging on the way down. He's gonna have to start mixing that up if he wants to be able to beat Abe. Abe having a frame three option out of shield. And not having enough recovery to get back. All right, that's game one. I think maybe a stage where he's able to hide completely under the platform or maybe an even open, open, more open stage where he can punish Abe for more of these board airs and he can't zone him out nearly as effectively it would be even more effective. So maybe an FD or a small battlefield would help. A smaller stage, perhaps. So I don't think these big stages are working out too well. Too much stage to cover. You didn't make it back in time. You won? Uh, MMWAM. How close was it? The last game was not close at all. He went right back to PS2. No. Yeah. God damn it. He went back to PS2 and got oh, man. super two stop. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Yo. Oh, I just had a last hit set with Vash. How'd it go? It was good. Did it's you good. win? No, he won. No. I mean, it's, it's been pretty back and forth. Like at this point, you know, I, I, I know what to do. I know what to do. And it was like it was like last year, last stock. So I'm like, okay. All right, going Violet. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see this coming, but I can't imagine that Game and Watch is a great matchup for Samus. He didn't go Samus game. Either. He went Mithra. What? And he went Mithra. And he got two stock. I'm surprised. Okay, in that case, I'm surprised we're not seeing. The Samus. The Samus straight off the bat. But, okay. You know, maybe he's saving it for game three. And the Bile not doing too bad. No, the Bile doing pretty good. A lot more range, and I think this is definitely a matchup that Sun is a lot more practiced in. But he's been getting punished throughout this whole time, landing aerials right on Game of Watch's shield. Yep. You just cannot you just can't do, do it. Cal is an interesting pick, giving him that extra, like, wall jump from Byleth every time to recover. A lot of extra mix in there. 
That's true. And not giving Aiden nearly as much place as the land. Yeah. Now, I will say, I think the key of this matchup is going to be can uh, Sun really force the, the Marth Brightest out of Game & Watch, right? Uh, Game & Watch, a character that, if he's not landing his tilts and his smash attacks, he really struggles to kill. Mm -hmm. He's not killing the back here until like yeah. 150, yeah. 180 on the opposite side of the stage, right? And so if Sun can really capitalize that, you, you can abuse Violet's kind of superior kill power in that sense. Because right now, like, how does Game & Watch kill you? He has to get a key, he has to get a tilt, he has to get a smash attack. That's true. Nothing he has else to get kills. you on stage right now, or keep you on ledge with like an F tilt. But yeah, but he needs the tilt. Or the strong, you know, the strong. The, he needs the line, the strong move. So like, look at that. Not even close. And we're just talking about a bullet help, but those four dares are looking like a Ooh. bullet. Help. That key though, the key not killing at 140, no, but really old. Oh, no jump, unfortunate. But that was a really good uh, down air, just calling out any kind of shenanigans he wanted down there with the with the hand. It was good, but he's gonna have to figure out this stock. He had the exact same problem last time where he just lived super long and then yep. he just kept racking up more and more percent. Yep. Oof. Oh, quick 90%. Bacon, 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 down smash. <laughs> and it just keeps going. Yeah, he hasn't been able to hit him. He's, he's getting too aggro. Hmm. He's, he's really fishing for his kill and it's not paying off. Right? No, definitely not. Byleth shines in this matchup when he can run away and kind of threaten kill moves, right? He can run away back air, run away F tilt, mm -hmm. run away, you know, dash attack. Uh, I feel like in that sense, he kind of needs to be on equal footing or at least yeah. up a stop. Right, you need to be able to, you need to make Game & Watch approach, but I don't know what the answer is here, right? Clearly, narrowing into his shield at 160 is not it. No. When you're this far behind in the matchup, it, it's, it's, it's a foregone conclusion. I mean, I think the big thing is, is, is look, look at uh, Abe's space again. Right. As soon as he gets the chance, he's running up into space and shielding. Right? Mm -hmm. And I think Sun needs to do a much better job enforcing that zone, right? Because he's just letting Abe into that zone for free. Where he needs to be... Okay, this should go. No. no not even. He even had it. He just passed the over. But getting the footage. But yeah, he needs to be threatening the space. Right now, Abe's just running all the way in, uncontested. That's if you're going to do that nair, that nair's okay, but you need to do it fading away. Mm -hmm. You know? Some, le some more like actual landing forwarders, landing back airs to catch these aggressive run-ins every time. We're seeing a lot of empty hops coming out from Sun. Oh, and that fares him through. No, it's not. No? Never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh. But you know, maybe that would have been a mercy kill. Getting off ledge versus Abe is a pain, but the oh, kill. Yeah. And straight back the ledge. And. Okay. I, I, I would have. I, I respect it. Dead. Yeah. That's it, for sure. No jump, no resources. All right, will we see the Samus? I would, I would the say matchup, the matchup can't be, I don't know. I think the matchup has to be atrocious to warrant going secondaries. Generally. I think it's just the way that Sam is, or not Sam, Sam wants to play the matchup because he can't use what he normally likes to do for neutral, which is like the charge shot, or else Abe gets bucket. You still can, right? You can, but it's really risky because you can die 50 to bucket. That's true, but I think where it gets interesting, right, and you can't use your down B stall and whatever, but where I think where it gets interesting is Abe really wants the bucket, and bucket is super laggy. Right, so it's you true. flash, I mean, it's kind of the same game plan of flash charge, right? A, instead of shield or whatever, A pulls bucket, grab. Or dash type if he's a higher percent. Right. That's and true. And so, I think there's... The Roy? Okay. All right, he's Sun committing. Sun committing to secondary. Interesting choice. But yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff there where you know, okay, Game & Watch win condition is, is denying charge right? So you play around that and force him to, like, almost to death. Him, right. And then you're not using the charge shot. He stops bucketing, boom, charge shot. Right, but you know you can't do it in a range where you can react to it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, this, I mean, on paper, this isn't a bad counter pick. Yeah, it's not. But you know, we've seen we've seen how last game went. It was looking pretty even until you know you lost that first talk and it just snowballed out of control. Right. I mean, taking Roy on town is always going to be a menace, right? Like side of the ledge will probably kill you. At like what, sixty? Yes. So, yeah, about now actually. Jab backer also probably going to kill very soon. Ooh. No sweet spot though. But I mean, oh, good nice. counter. counter. I'm not gonna oh, do it. Cross stage That's six. crazy. If that was sweet spot. That was that was it. We'll see. I mean, I like, I do like this counter pick, but he has to get this kill, right? If he dies first, I think, I think it might be. It's gonna be the same. Right. Okay, good grab. That's something we needed to see more of the violent game, but now he has that ground speed to really get in. Good maneuvering around the downer though. That was the first time I've ever seen him do that. Not respecting Oof. the upbeat. Game & Watch notoriously bad off ledge, but hasn't really felt it at all. And that 
fucking chair. I'm gonna kill the cross <laughs> stage at 100%. Uh, he must have been holding away. You know, when Game Watch goes to class and they say pick a seat, he took that literally. Yelp, yelp. <laughs> <laughs> took it with him. <laughs> oh my goodness. He really, but see, again, he really just needs an F to a side B. You know, a jab back. Oh but instead, he's gonna take 70. Up the outer shield will probably kill you, honestly. I think but he he's do. getting desperate, right? He's gonna run right in, swing on shield. I mean, it was a good timing mix up. That was, that was a good timing mix up. But Abe has rumble on, so he's, he, he's <laughs> not respecting that. He's just waiting. True. Oh, no. Damn. And the downs are gonna take it. They're also like 100%. Game Watch with Rage is gonna run away, get his uppies out of shield, try and get an early air conversion, but that up there, a good landing up air, beating out Game Watch and Air. So it's looking a little bit more doable than last game, but not by much. Again, losing that lead in the first stock. Again, it was, again, dead even first stock into Abe now up a full stock and can kind of just shield cap it. Oof. And not Good. respecting down air either. This is looking so hopeless for, for Sun. I mean, he needs a, he needs a godlike combo here. Just into death. He needs a couple really good reads, like a spot yep. dodge F smash. Exactly. Oh, oh no. Just not respecting the speed of up the and that's gonna be it. And the forward under the platform. Quick 3-0 coming out from Abe. 